Right, good afternoon. Um, this is, the plan of this is to look at your basic geographical skills and we're going to work our way through all the different units. Now the first uh, aim is to be able to label and annotate diagrams, maps, graphs and sketches. And we're going to look at uh, labelling and annotating diagrams to start off with. Some of this you're going to have seen before, some of this is going to be uh, new to you and going to relate to your homework. Now, there are three types of image which you are going to see. There are bleak images, aerial images and satellite images. Um, you need to be able to understand what each of these is and be able to understand the different terminology so that you can define it if necessary and be able to interpret the images if possible. Okay. Now, what are you going to be asked to do on these images once you've got them? Well, you can be asked to do a range of things. The key, the key to, and we'll show you. Uh, I'm going to show you the first one mainly is labeling, which is a simple sentence that describes a feature. Second's about annotation, and that's actually explaining things and developing ideas further. These two are both important. Most of the time, you're going to be asked to do the labeling in exams because it's about interpreting maps. So. What kind of skills are you going to be asked of? Well, you need to be able to highlight important features from photographs. You're going to have to be able to capture details without an interpretation and work quickly with it as well. You could be asked to complete um, field sketches. You could be asked to um, complete maps. Okay. The typical sketch needs to have a series of things. You need to actually pick out the perspective. You need to look at the scale and think about scale. You need to think about the location and date of the sketch so that you're appreciating that it can change over time. You need to be able to label the key features and briefly describe some processes which are going on. There's some examples of things there. Now, you're never expected to know any specifics for this because everybody's going to be taught different things. So everything which you're going to have to do is going to be applying geographical skills which you're going to have learned already. Now, here's an example of a photo. Um, this is an oblique photo. Um, and it looks at a series, of, it looks at a small town which has got a bypass going around it. Now what you'd have to do is in this instance, is if I use the mouse to actually demonstrate this, you'd be expected to demonstrate that there's the road going around it, you'd be expected to understand that you've got your areas of fields uh, and you'd have to label those, and then you'd have your small area of housing in the middle. Now that's the the key things to identify. You've got a slightly larger building here. You've obviously got the open space here as well. Most of this is going to be housing, so that's what you're going to label it. There's obviously some shops here because you can see the car parks around that area. So it's about picking out the key areas of the photo. Once you've got that, you're going to need to actually annotate the features. Now we're going to see a different image now, and this can have some different features on it. And again, it's about picking out the different issues and features. Okay, and this is a different example. And it's about finding these images and finding these photos and being able to annotate these things effectively. Now, what, how can this be interpreted in an exam? Well, in an exam, you're going to see various issues like this. This is one example. Okay, um, you had to study the Ordnance Survey map in this example, and you then had to label it. Okay. Uh, and you had to complete the sketch. Now they asked you to do four things. They asked you to put the outline of Slaps and Leon, the bar, um, which was the beach, and then you actually had to add a couple of features off an ordnance survey map as well, which you got using this key, and you had to use this key effectively, so the P and the PC in this instance. So here's the photo which we're looking at. Well, you need the outline of Slaps and Leaf. So the Slaps and Leaf, we have a look at our map, okay is this area of water here so what we're gonna to have to do is on this image we're gonna to have to actually draw on the outline of Salat and Lee now this is kind of clear already so you're just gonna to have to put this area of green um, bar in here to actually add that detail in the second thing you've been asked to do is put the beach on note that it curves round and the second thing you have to do is then put that beach on to show that it's curving round you then need to find these two features, the car park at Tor Cross and the public convenience at Slapton Sands. You can see the car park here in the photo. So what we're going to do is you go to your map, you actually look at your map because you're looking this way, and we can see that we've got um, various different features. Okay, And the key thing is to be able to interpret this accurately. And the first thing I've gone and done is interpret it wrong because you're actually looking this way. So what have we got? Well, the first thing you've got to do is you've got to add your car park in. Well, your car park's going to be at this end, okay? And then your um, public convenience is going to be at this end. And it's about interpreting the photo as the right way up. 
So that's one example of things you could be asked. The second example of things you could be asked is looking at this. This is a different question. This is from the June 2010 paper. And they've given you a very detailed field sketch of a town. And what they've asked you to do is label three features. So what you're going to have to do is look at your photo, which is here, which you can see the accurate things. There's this bridge in the background here. You've got a church here, and then you've got the main road. It is no good labeling it along those lines. You've got to be more accurate than that. So you're going to have to look at your map, and then you're going to have to think, right, well, what kind of church is this? What's the name of the road? And then the bridge you can identify as a bridge. So those are the different things which you're going to need to be identifying to actually cover in this in this detail. Okay, and that's the key, is just making sure you are being as accurate as you possibly can be. Hopefully this has helped you some way and has enabled you to actually think about how you can interpret field sketches further.